Y'all, uh, well, first of all, first of all, y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day today. And I didn't think I was going to be needing to be, really wasn't caring to be making a video about this dude anytime uh, soon since the last videos that I made because I'm not going to be making a video about him every time his name and face pop up in the news. I can't even stand seeing his face like that, so... I definitely ain't trying to keep on making videos about him, but I felt like I needed to make a video with the news that just uh that I'm just hearing uh like a few minutes ago that Sean Combs homes raided by Homeland Security and they said that I saw that it's his uh his Miami and his LA home. So I didn't even get a chance, y'all. Like I said, I just literally, literally heard about this less than five minutes ago so i wanted to jump out here and make a video real quick so um i don't know what's going on i'm about to find out now while i'm reading this article and doing whatever little research i'm going to be doing to make this video so let's go ahead and get it going y'all uh this is from the washington post and uh it says again sean combs homes raided by homeland security the hip-hop producer and mogul faces a slew of lawsuits accusing him of physical abuse sexual assault and sex trafficking the department of homeland security hold on y'all let me stop right there real quick the department of homeland security so you know that's serious all right back to the article the department of homeland security raided multiple homes belonging to sean diddy combs on monday as the hip-hop mogul faces several lawsuits over accusations including physical abuse sexual assault and sex trafficking Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, New York, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available, the DHS said in a statement. A spokesperson for HSI, ugh, y'all killing me. A spokesperson for HSI declined to comment beyond a statement and did not say how many of Combs' homes were raided. The entertainer has homes in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. A law enforcement official speaking on a condition of anonym, uh, I can never say that, anonym, an, anonymy, anonymy, I don't even know if I'm still pronouncing it right, y'all, but anywho, to discuss an ongoing investigation, confirm the searches are part of a sex trafficking investigation. Video clips said to be from the raid circulated on social media Monday afternoon, showing several armed vehicles and law enforcement officers surrounding the home in Los Angeles. Heavily armed law enforcement officers appeared to enter the garage of the mansion in video published by Fox 11. Law enforcement authorities detained people from inside the house, but it was unclear if any arrests had been made. Police appeared to guide one man in a blue shirt out of the house with his hands behind his head, the footage showed. Police departments for Miami-Dade, Beverly Hills, and Los Angeles referred to the Homeland Security Department when asked for comment. The federal raid follows months of allegations of sexual abuse against Combs. Combs' former girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie, filed a blockbuster lawsuit against Combs in November. The suit alleged that Cassie had suffered a cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking at the hands of the famed producer. According to the lawsuit, Combs would force Cassie, whose legal name is Cassandra Ventura, to participate in sex parties with male sex workers, flying them into multiple cities into the United States as well as abroad. Cassie's lawsuit was soon followed by others. There were more women filed, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, three more women filed sex, sexual assault claims against Combs in 2023, including an anonymous, anonymous woman who accused Combs and Harvey Pierre, the former chief executive of Bad Boy Entertainment, of trafficking her from Detroit to New York in 2003, where she was allegedly gang raped. She was 17 at the time. In February, producer Rodney Jones filed a federal lawsuit against Combs and several of his associates. Jones worked on Combs' most recent project, The Love Album, from 2022 and 2023. He alleges that during that time, Combs would ask him to seek out sex workers to attend all-night parties, during which Combs would give alcoholic beverage 
beverages laced with drugs to women who attended, including minors. Jones also accused Combs of displaying and distributing unregistered illegal firearms. Combs settled with Cassie the day after she filed her lawsuit, saying that they decided to resolve this matter am amicably. I don't even know if I pronounced that right, y'all. I ain't feeling too good right now. My sinuses and all that, girl. My allergies and all kind of. So, in the end of this article anyway, Combs has denied all the allegations against him and has called the lawsuit filed by his other accusers a money grab. So, y'all, yeah, because this is, y'all, yeah, I cannot stand this man. I cannot stand him. Like, and I, I saw, um, I saw this. Well, actually, somebody called me and told me about it. And when they called me and told me about it, I went on my social media page. Uh, I mean, well, I, I went on social media uh, to go f to a few of the blog pages just to read up on it a little bit. So I was seeing in the comments, and I'm getting so sick of seeing this in the comments. Y'all, I was seeing in the comments, like, all of this, like, um, why am I seeing all of these black people in the comments that's, you know, cheering for this man's downfall and, you know, why they ain't going to get this, per you know, why they going, going for all the black people, They they why they not going, uh, what's the guy's name at Nickelodeon that they just, uh, I can't think of his name, but, you know, why they, why they not going to raid his house and all of that? Because we ain't talking about them. We're not talking about them people. I'm not talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, being a black woman rooting for the downfall of a black man. This man don't care. Like, why are we sitting there talking about if it was this and if it was that and then why are we rooting for the downfall of this black man? Don't know. He don't care. That man don't care anything about any of us. He don't care anything about any of us. And then, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, my my sinuses and I'm not really not feeling all that well right now y'all so I'm sniffling and doing all of that so I do apologize and just please bear with me I'm gonna try not to be sniffling and doing too much um while I'm making this video but y'all like who cares about this man like I'm being for real for real who cares about this man because all of them talking about it, the downfall of a black man and if he was right and if it was this and if it was this if you had the opportunity to be sitting in this man's presence ever, then he might have would have been trying to do the same thing to you. So would your stance with him would have still been the same? Would you still been hollering that same thing that you hollering right now? You know, the downfall of a black man. We're not talking about a black man that's just out there, you know, kind of like a J. Cole type thing. Like you ain't you won't ever hear anything bad about him. He out there minding his business. And just trying to do good. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I heard something like that about Jake, now, yeah, that right there, I might want to, you know, kind of dig deep down and see what's going on because you know what I'm saying? Come on now, this man ain't never had anything going on. So, like I said, I might have would have had something to say with something like that, but Sean Combs, Puffy? Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, everything they say about this man is what it is. I'm telling y'all. And for y'all to be sitting up there defending, for y'all ones defending him and talking about this only happening to him because he was a black man and if he was white, then this wouldn't be going. We're not even talking about The black-white thing ain't even, it, it's not even mattering as far as I'm concerned in this case. It's not even mattering because I'm looking at him like I'm looking at Harvey Weinstein or whoever else white that need to be taken down for the ex for doing the exact same thing physical abuse sexual assault sex trafficking the r word all of that all of that i don't care what color he is i don't care if he is black or if he's white if he's out there doing that and violating people like that then he needs to go down so for y'all sitting up here talking about oh you know as a black man i'm getting tired of seeing people just you know cheering the demise of a black man and all of this and miss me with that and like i said come to me with that when it's somebody like j cole or you know what i'm saying or somebody like that somebody that that you know somebody whose name we don't hear tied into all type of negative stuff and this is not something that just happening in in the 20 in the 2020s it's not something that was just happening in the in the 2000s. 
This dude been doing this. He been doing this. He been doing this since the 90s. He's been doing this since the 90s. Now all of a sudden they catching up with him and he about to pay for his crimes and it's all of this crying and you know black man and y'all trying to take down a black man and oh man, miss me with that. Miss me with that. Take this man down. He been needed. He he been needing to be taken down taken down a long time ago. He been need, long, y'all we talking about like I said, the R word. Y'all know what the R word, what I'm talking about. And y'all see what he got, physical abuse and all of this. This man with all of this, y'all, and y'all talking about trying to the demise of a black t- uh, uh, Get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. Y'all just bought as irritating as, uh, you know what I'm saying? Seeing those comments like that are just as irritating to me as seeing anything that has to do with anything with this man's name in it. Because like I'm saying, y'all, these allegations, this stuff, Back in the day, yeah, they were rumors, you know, us regular people, people in the industry been new. They been new because they been knew what was going on, but they all in that club. So it's all hush hush. But us regular folks out here on the outside, we just hear little, you know, rumors. This might be a rumor. You don't know if this is for real. You heard this and you know what I'm saying? All this, that and the other. So we've been hearing things about this man for decades and nothing has happened to him. And he still continues to do what he was doing because he thinks that that it's going to continue to be the same, that nothing is going to happen to him. Well, it's finally happening. And some of us are glad to see it because I will say it all day long. I'm glad to see it. Take his ass down. He been doing too much. He been doing too much. But I'm not going to make this video too long, y'all, about this dude. I just, like I said, I just saw this. Somebody called me and told me about this. So I just wanted to go, uh, I don't know, I might, because I just kind of did this video real quick because I just heard about it. But uh, as much as I don't want to, if it's if it's something else, um, you know, with this story that I might want to uh, add my two cents to, then I, I might make another video regarding it. If not, then I won't. But, you know, there'll be other people are making videos and it's just all over the place, so. Um, if you don't hear it from me, then, you know, you'll most definitely hear it, uh, from somewhere else, somebody else and all that stuff. Everybody pretty much talking about the same thing when it's hot news. So like I said, y'all, I just wanted to come out here real quick and make a video about this idiot once again, because I don't care. I don't care. Y'all can say, call me what y'all want, a hater or whatever, say whatever you want about me when it comes to this man right here. But I, I feel like that it's, you know what I'm saying? It's been long overdue for him. It's been long overdue, long overdue, y'all. We've been hearing about this man for decades. It's been long overdue. So lock his ass up. Hurry up. Lock him up and throw away the key or whatever you're going to do. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, you know, for his kids. Um, like I said, y'all, I don't know too, too much about this story yet other than what I've just read and a couple of, I did see a couple of the videos and I think uh, a video, I saw one of his sons or maybe two of his sons uh, in handcuffs or whatever. So I feel bad for the kids. The kids shouldn't have to go through, they shouldn't have to go through any of this type of stuff when it's dealing with the parents. And you know what I'm saying, especially for Kim Porter's kids, because you know what I'm saying, they have this going on with their father, and you know, they don't have their mother here to comfort them. You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, they be hearing their father's name tied in as the reason for their mother's demise. Y'all, these kids got a, they, they're going through a whole lot, and when we see them, um, when we see them in pictures, even after their mom died, when we see them in pictures, they're all smiles and, you know what I'm saying, everything looking like it's all good and all that type of stuff, y'all. But what we're not seeing is when they're not taking these pictures. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that they have to be feeling all kind of ways, and I know they still messed up behind losing their mother. I know they are. You see what I'm saying? And, and there's no telling... You know, I mean, uh, Diddy is their father, and you know what I'm saying? Parents, a lot of parents do whatever they want to do to protect their kids. 
So maybe his kids really haven't heard too much of the bad stuff about him. So if all of this, like, if, it, if they're being taken by surprise by, you know, these federal informants, are we talking about the Department of Homeland Security, not just your local police department? You know, your local police officers, we're talking about federal. We're talking about the Department of Homeland Security raiding your house, coming in your house like that, and then putting you in handcuffs and putting your father in handcuffs and... You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff, y'all, these kids are going through a whole lot, y'all. Prayers to them. They are going through a whole lot. So hopefully, um, Kim Porter's kids, I know that Kim Kimora Lee, I know that, that she's, um, I see her with them a lot. So hopefully that can be some type of comfort. They have somebody to go to for some type of comfort outside of their father. I'm sure that they have other people to go to, y'all, but it's just crazy. So the only people that I'm I'm feeling bad for in this situation are those kids. I don't feel bad for him at all. I don't feel bad for him, and I don't feel bad for any other adults that uh you know that that roll with him and that foolishness that he does. Because if they rolling with him and they cool with it and all that, then they need to go down just like just like he is. So you know, like I said, y'all, I might come back and make another video depending on if I see something else that I, I want to make another video about regarding this um you know may I may or, or I may not but anywho y'all like I said again I just wanted to come out here and make this video uh real quick so thank you guys for watching my video I'm out